I am Paul Cloud Specialist ZDEP Technologies. I am Certified Instructor in AWS Solution Architecture Associate, AWS Developer Associate and AWS Professional. We are going to see AWS Real-Time Project Explanation in English and Tamil. Please do subscribe our channel. Hi everyone, it's me Paul from ZDEP Technologies. Today we are going to here to discuss about very important concept VPC endpoint. I'm going to show you how the private instance can able to access S3 bucket without having public support. And here we go. I have already opened a, a couple of consoles, IDT access management, S3 management console and VPC endpoint and EC2 management console. So in this example, there is actually endpoint, powerful feature, where we are going to, I'm to show you how we are going to uh, give access to the private instance to access S3 bucket, okay? To do this, uh, first of all, let me have an instance, okay? So in this example, I'm going to pick up AMI Linux, and I'm going to keep one Linux machine, one AMI Linux in public, and another one in private, okay? So there you can see I am. So just remember, in order to my, a uh, public instance wants to communicate with S3 bucket, we should have a IAM role attached. So there you can see the IAM role, we have Amazon S3 full access. So I'm going, there you can see I have already given as a behalf of EC2. Okay, so let me attach that one. And uh, let me have a air storage. Okay, so I'm going to add tags and attach the security groups. Sorry, let me add a tags. Let me give the tag S3 public access. So let me create a new security groups Linux SG. Okay, so go next, review and launch. So I'm going to create a new key pair VPC endpoints. And launch instance. Now I'm going to create, I'm going to launch a private instance. I'm going to disable auto send public IP option with another availability zones. Right, so I'm going to disable it and uh, I'm not going to attach an IAM role. I'm going to give the keys. So let me attach it here. S3 private access. Attach your station security group. <coughs> Sorry. So there you can see we have S3 private access. So here we go, I have two instance. One is S3 public access and private access. The public instance will get communicated with S3 bucket, but the private instance will not able to communicate. Uh, private instance will get communicated with S3 bucket via VPC endpoints, right? So first of all, let me launch an, a public access uh, instance. Uh, let me take the remote. I'm going to use mobile XTERM. So here, easy to a user. So I'm going to use the private key. I'm going to use the PC endpoint. There we can see, and uh, let me have sudo su. So let me uh, access S3 buckets. So I have given already IAM role, S3 full access. So this all the buckets, the way we have in S3. So let me see, he can able to access or not. There it is, I can able to access it. Right, so next I'm going to show you how we access S3 buckets on private instance, but private instance, how you access? That they, they doesn't have any public IP. So you have to call the private instance inside public. So this is a public instance I, I'm going to call 
the private instance is public so I'm going to go to cat and um, I'm going to uh, have a key that is the name of the PEM file VPC endpoints okay so I will going to get these things here right so enter and uh, so now I'm going to uh, copy the content of the private key without any modification or changes enter so I'm going to give control C change mode read only permissions name of the file and now I'm going to access so copy this SSH private endpoint and paste it yes I want to correct there you can see I got it so most people we, we, we they use some third-party applications here like uh, like peer like putty agent and all so but th this is very simple method I told you follow this and there is a difference you can see this is a public instance I can able to communicate with the internet and that's a private instance when I uh, when I google it he will not communicate because it doesn't have any public access there you can see difference right so I go back here in the private instance and uh, since I want to access S3 buckets so there you can see if I had a AWS CLS and there you can see he's asking me to I should have a uh, credentials okay so I'm going to have let, let I give him the credentials go to my security credentials so next time I'm going to give uh, oops I'm really sorry I'm really sorry I had to give AWS configure and then I had to provide the access ID access key ID and secret access key and I need to give a region ID so you can see you have US West 1 okay so that's we have here I am in North California region and now if I want to access three buckets there you can see I'm not able to access because still it is private okay so now how I how the private instance can access s3 bucket since it doesn't have any public IP or public access there you can see I had to go for VPC and my endpoints so click on that and create endpoint so here the endpoint I'm going to select uh, s3 in this list is that? yeah here we have s3 and come down and I'm going to attach uh, I'm going to show you so I'm showing this one it's in the default VPC select all the route table here and uh, there I'm going to use create endpoint so you can see endpoint is created okay so there you can see still is not able to access go to subnets this is not California I got two subnets so they're going go to route table you can see here the endpoint is attached and go to subnet B and attach go to route table and let's see also go to routes and there you can see it's attached okay now that we see is able to access there you can see he can able to access successfully so this is how the endpoint the power of endpoint given to the private instance okay so still when I type google.com it's not communicating and still you can see how I am without ha having public access I am able to access uh, S3 bucket this is a public instance when I go to AWS the LS or so sorry I'm going to have the LS and there you can see again AWS this is because of uh, IAM permissions and public access but that bucket is getting from uh, uh, access of three bucket why I'm from endpoint so what I'm going to do now I'm going to delete this endpoint let's see after deleting this endpoint the private instance will not get access to S3 bucket okay let me test it here let me test here so okay so let me rename it for uh, not to get you not you not you should get confused I'm going to give public instance uh, and I want to give this one as a private instance click OK and uh, there you can see the public uh, instance and private and, uh, and there you can see the public instance still uh, can access because the because it have everything uh, publicly settings available but the private is okay let I uh, create an endpoint again so let I have s3 and uh, come down and go to here route table and create endpoint so endpoint is created here you can see it's created and it's going to be attached 
and there you can see and again when I go to and verify there you can see my private instance can access all S3 buckets so this is how very important is for environment this is how we securely access S3 buckets and we access very much uh, with high security that is VPC endpoint I hope you understood let's I catch you next video take care bye bye